Okay, so this is my pet peeve. And I know my last pet peeve, which is about being looked down upon, like being a young mom. And I told you guys this might be like a weekly thing or just whenever I have a pet peeve. And this time I really have another pet peeve. Okay, so you know those friends that are like your best friends, you turn to them for everything? Well, I have a couple of those. Okay, like three, four, okay? And it's so bad that these three out of the four, three out of the four, um, barely talk to me. And like, I know that they have boyfriends, they have their own lives, you know, one's going, one's going to school, one works two jobs, one's a dancer, like a professional dancer. But even with everything I have going on between work, Joey, my relationship with Chris, planning my wedding, everything, I still make time to talk to them and to make them important in my life. Well, they don't do the same for me. And the one, I give him the most credit, and yes, he is a guy, and he is my best friend, and no, he's not gay. He is in the Air Force, and he has done nothing but make me feel important in his life. Like, literally, when he's deployed, he's always talking to me. Always. Like, we're Skyping, we're texting, we're something. We're Facebooking. We're always talking. And he's always made me feel important in his life, and I've done the same for him. Like, I send him pictures all the time of Joey, and I tag him in pictures on Facebook of Joey, and I just, I keep him so involved in our life. So much that when I got engaged, like, he was he was one of the first people I told, and I was like, you know, I'm finding some way in case Chris doesn't make you a groomsman to be in my wedding. And originally, he was, he, the original thought was that he could walk me down the aisle, because my dad's not going to be at the wedding, and you know and he's like oh well that's really nice but you know it's a little weird like that's something your dad does so he's now a groomsman in our wedding so my three other good friends barely talk to me and the only thing I get from them is maybe a hi in a text every like maybe once a month or once every three months or if I initiate it like I get furious about it and I initiate it like that's when they talk to me and or I get like a like on my status and 90% of the time the status they're liking is about them like my status recently was it's easier to forgive an enemy than it is a friend and like three no two out of the four liked it so far and it's just crazy because why would you not talk to me you guys are a part of my wedding you guys are a part of my life one of them is the godmother to my son and you barely talk to me. You don't ask how he's doing. You don't anything. I have to message you. Hey, look, Joey's walking. Hey, look, this, that. I mean, I have people like my best friend who's in the Air Force who isn't anything to Joey. He's just, you know, that adopted, like, best friend, uncle kind of thing who all the time when he's deployed, how's Joey? What's he doing? What's something new he can say? You know, can I Skype him? You know, he gives me, ev like, everything. He gives me what a friend should be. So, it just annoys me. And, like, that's the thing. They weren't like this before I had Joey. Well, they kind of were, but not, not this bad. And part of it is I feel like because I moved, like, they just gave up. They gave up on being my friend because I wasn't face-to-face -face or I wasn't in an arm length. Like, they're only friends to me when I'm in, like, an arm's length reach of them. And it annoys me, like, really bad. And it's like, how do I confront these people? How do I talk to them about it? I just, I don't understand. And I'm lost. Like, I've never felt, not alone, but alone. Like, these, these ones were my best friends. Like, I tell these guys everything. So if you guys have any help, advice, anything, I would love to hear from you guys. Leave it in a comment or private message me or give me something. I mean, this is driving me completely insane. Um, I would love to hear it. I'm in dire need. Uh, if you want to be my friend, that's even better. I could always use someone to talk to. Uh, you know, it would make me very happy. <laughs> um, so I hope to hear from you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.